Hi guys, I need my microphone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome back to another <laughs> another unboxing video, which we haven't had for a while. But uh, yeah, so today was meant to be train sim. Uh, I do apologise, there isn't any train sim today because I'm going away tomorrow. And last night we hit the donation goal, so here we are. We've got the wheel and everything to uh, unbox. Uh, and then I'll be setting it up afterwards. So the plan today is just to get the simulator fully set up on Fnatic equipment for when I come back, which is Wednesday. So there won't be, I don't think there'll be any desk streams today. I've tried to set the camera up as best I can. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So we've got the Fnatic shifter. We've got the Fnatic wheelbase, which is here. We've then got my dream rim, which is the Club Sport uh, BMW rim. Ever since I got into sim race, and this is what I've always wanted, just the rim, I don't care about anything else. And then I've also got the V... Hang on, I might need to move the mic. Right, I've also got the V2 pedals as well, so... Sorry if you can't hear me well, but it should be okay. Uh, yeah, so I've got the V2 pedals. I, for anyone that knows, I have got the V1 pedals already. Uh, which is which I've had for about, I think I've had them about four years, my dad's had them a year or two, so. Anyway, before I get going, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, everybody who donated to the donation goal. Uh, really, you know, massively appreciated. Uh, also a big shout out to someone who finished the goal last night, who donated a lot of money. Uh, I've had a few people that's donated a lot, but uh, he's followed the channel a, lo a long time, so. Uh, the Top Gear, who is uh, in the chat normally, I don't think he's in yet, but he is a moderator and he is in chat. He donated 350 last night, which finished the goal. And then I got the wheel delivered today. So a big shout out to him. Massive uh, support from him and I really do appreciate it. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, let's get cracked on. Also, a big shout out to the guys who donated the money to buy the new webcam. Uh, so that both webcams are bought. and to uh, So the new webcams are going on the rig. And this webcam is staying here, which is this one. Uh, right, chat. Where are we at with chat? Uh, hey, mate, you deserved it. Yeah, well, I, I, I do appreciate it. Right, uh, rim. So I'll do the rim last. What should we unbox first is the question. Tell you what we should unbox first is Monster. Uh, you deserve it. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Uh, I just went for two 270s. So, yeah, I just went for two 270s. Right, so I'm going to do this the best way I can. Are you going to use the Club Sport Shifter? Uh, or use the, oh, I'll be using the, the Club Sport Shifter. is a better shifter. It's just, it's double the price. So, let's get let's get involved with this. So, yeah, it is a better shifter, the Club Sport Shifter. But it is double the price. So, all right, here we go. No, don't want to reveal too much. It's going to be one of them streams where I'm just littered with boxes all the time, isn't it? Uh, the keyboard isn't actually that good. I want to get a mechanical keyboard, but I was saving up for a keyboard, then ended up uh, we we ended up getting this wheel so instead. So, I'll get a keyboard eventually. So, Fnatic Shifter. I've already seen a Fnatic Shifter. I've also used one at my dad's house. Uh, so... We'll take this bit of foam out, then you also get a sequential gear knob, if we can get that out. So you get the sequential gear knob, which is here. It's got uh, Fnatic written on it. I uh, don't know how well you can see that there, but... So you get that. I'll stick that there. We get the cable, which is a cable. Bear in mind, this shifter isn't standalone. This shifter only works with the base, unless you buy the standalone adapter, which is extra. So, right. So this shifter, if I remember correctly, is around about £180, right? It is heavy. It weighs a ton. Uh, so it's around about £180. However, if you want to get it so it's the same as the TH8A shifter with a table mount. Uh, yeah, so if you want to get it with a table mount and a USB adapter so it is standalone, it, you know, it's another like £80, so it's ridiculous. Uh, right, another Christmas day in the world. Oh, mate, I know. It always is. 
Uh, right, so this is a shifter. I tell you what, though, it's a beautiful looking shifter. It just, it's it's the clunkiness, man. It feels so good. So it is. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it is seven speed. Seven speed, stupid, because to get it, you can't get into seventh. Look, right? To get into seventh, you've got to push down to get into seventh, which you're never going to do when you're actually driving. So. It is seven speed, it's push down reverse as well, which is up here. And then also, what you can do is, you can take this shifter off here. Oh, bear in mind, this equipment has never been used. About 15 minutes a week it's been used, so that's a year. So that's, that's why I wanted it. So you put this sequential gear knob on like this, right? Then there's a switch here. So you push this shift along like that, and then it's locked. And you've just got sequential then. <laughs> Which is awesome. And you spin that back around. Is my, for some reason, my face cam has decided to do a poo. So bear with me and we'll unpoo the face cam. Uh, no. Oh, because it's, oh, hang on. It's seen it as a. That's why. Uh, C520. Right, there we go. Right, we should be back at that. So, I'm going to set it back up to H pattern. Uh, how are we doing in here? The top gear doing it is Vok. Uh, yeah, the, the top gear, if you watch the start of the video, he donated uh, the rest of the money to finish it off. So which is absolutely awesome. Uh, you can actually see it in Streamlabs, so if you click on the donation link in the description, you can actually see it in uh, in Streamlabs. So, I am going to uh, move my monster, because that is really, really important. It's more important than unboxing this wheel. So for anyone interested, the, uh, the port for the actual cable goes here. Your mounting solution is you've got mounts down here as well. Then you've also got these mounts that slide in these fins. So you take off the bottom and you slide these mounts up these fins. So yeah, really, really nice shifter. Again, well worth the money, but it is twice the money of what a T88 is. More than that, because it's like 280 quid if you get the table mount and the USB adapter. So, uh, right, the one thing I already do have is I already do have the pedals. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of them next. Uh, the top gear, hi Mark, how are you today? A uh, new steam wheel. Uh, and like I am the new steam wheel. Yeah, you are. Thank you, Top Gear. If you watch the start of the video, I did give you a huge shout out and a huge thank you. Uh, if you if you do get a chance to go back and watch the start of the video, I did say thank you and gave you a shout out. Right, I don't have a lot of room on the desk, so uh, I might need to stand up for this one because uh, it's the only decent place I've got to unbox this. So. So, for anyone interested, if you want to actually see what's in the box, it comes wrapped in a bag with uh, with the foam. So, what I'll do now is I'll stick this down here, because uh, I'm not going to fit that on there anyway. Alright, so, we'll get rid of the foam. Comes with a little instruction panel and the cable, so we'll put the cable on there. Get rid of the foam. And there uh, is your pedals. Right. Alright, if I've got time as well, I'll show you my first ever button box I built because I got it back with all this equipment. So, if I've got time, I will show you my first ever button box that I built. So, it comes in a nice little bag. So, you've also got... Right, so you've got a bit of uh, instructions there which we don't need. You've also then got the USB cable. Uh, these you can use as standalone. So these pedals you can plug in USB because I use mine USB. Uh, yeah, awesome Top Gear, mate. Awesome. Right. So, comes in a lovely bag with a nice Fanatic logo on, which is really, really nice. These are different to the pedals I use. Because these are V2s, and I'll show you the difference. They do need a bit of a clean, but uh, it's just a bit of dust, which I will I will be cleaning. 
I, I haven't unboxed these since I got them, so I, I promised I wouldn't, and I haven't. So this is the pedals. So very much like what I've got, uh, apart from mine are silver. Uh, you can see there's a bit of dust in here, so it definitely wants cleaning out. But uh, they've just been sat. The problem is he's never used them, so they've just sat. So the main difference is these have a heavier load cell in. So when you press the brake now, because the brake doesn't move much because it's pressure based. So that bit there doesn't actually affect the brake. It, when you actually press it, that's what affects it. It's the muscle memory because it's a load cell. It doesn't work on travel. It works on how much load you put on it. So the main difference is they have a stronger load cell. They also have this shock in. So this is a, like an oil dampening shock. This is how you adjust the load cell, which is there. So that's how you adjust the load cell. And then also the clutch has got a cam system on it, which mine doesn't. My clutch feels like the accelerator. So when I, if I can do this, so when I press the accelerator, that's how my clutch feels on the pedals that I have now. Whereas if you see the cam system, it's clunky. So it doesn't just press, it's, it's clunky. So you can try and find the bite. It's, uh, ah, it's really, really nice. So that's the V2s. Uh, how you connect them is, Two minutes and I'll throw it. Right, so how you connect them is you I'll put that out of the way because I don't need that. You take this little plate off like this. So you take this little plate off like this. If one's a good old clean, that's a problem. Then you have this little board, and that is where you plug in your stuff. So uh, that's your pedal port for your wheelbase. So that's to go from the wheelbase to the pedals. And this one is to go from PC to U sorry, to go from the pedals to USB. So that's if you want to use them standalone, just for anyone interested. We'll pop these back together, we will. Uh, nice, I wish I had those. I mean, don't get me wrong, the version ones that I have are very, very good as well. Uh, they really are. I'll be taking these straight back off. So uh, I don't know whether to set these up live. I don't know. Uh, I, could, I could take, I could do a, like a laid back live stream of me setting up the new wheel and pedals uh, it will take a little bit longer than just me setting them up but uh, if people want to see it then I'm more than happy to it won't be very professional but it might be a laugh <laughs> right so that's the version 2 Fnatic pedals so that's that done we'll do the bass next and then so we'll do the bass next and then we'll do we'll do my BMW rim last because, uh, yeah, I mean, the BMW rim is the whole reason behind all this. Bear in mind, this stuff is really, really nice as well. The wheelbase will be pretty impressive because uh, the, the Fnatic wheelbase is awesome. Congrats, mate. Well deserved. Well, hang on. I'll just have a quick, uh, a quick drink. No, I can't transfer my rims uh, easily. I'm going to be stuck with one rim until I can afford to buy... Uh, a fanatic hub so I need to buy a hub which is expensive so this is the whole reason I never wanted to go fanatic because I can't afford it <laughs> but hey we, we've got it now I'm pleased uh, hiya phantom mate how you doing please set it up live uh, please do mark uh, the stream setting up uh, and by the way SKRS shifter no SKRS shifter mine and Brian's both don't fit the Fnatic but there will be adapters available now I've got the shifter Brian's going to make adapters to to fit both shifters so yeah I will be able to use it eventually but not at the moment so I'll have to use a TH8A I think I don't know we'll see right this is how to do while I'm there there's one thing about the Fnatic stuff it is well packed so if you bear with me I'm just going to 
put the wheelbase on the floor. We're gonna get rid of the foam. We're gonna see what else is in the box. It's even got all the original bags, man. It's even got all the original bags. That's why I wanted to buy it off my uncle because he looks after everything. Original instructions. Uh, even the wheel bolts. All the original wheel bolts. Uh, that's the shifter part. And uh, the original shifter cable, which is ridiculously short. So that's that. Uh, get rid of this now. We're getting a room full of boxes. Right, that's the next one to unbox once we've had a look at the wheelbase. So we'll sit here there because she looks beautiful. Right, so another bag. Aha! Uh, it's been well looked after. It's never been used. I'm, you, think I'm, you think I'm joking, but it hasn't been used. My, my uncle doesn't have time to use it. That's the reason for the sale. So... Oh, this stuff's so nice. Oh. It weighs a bit like, let's hope I don't drop it. So that's the Fanatic, a version one wheelbase. So there's a version 2.5 out now, but look how, look how new it is. It's brand new. It's just never been used. I mean, it's absolutely immaculate, which is why I wanted to buy it. That's what I was saying. I knew I couldn't afford it, but that's why I raised the money for it because how can you let this go? It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, 280 watching. Uh, Vinny, it's pretty impressive, 280 watching. I'll never forget the day when I fitted my racing chair, though. I'll never forget that. that there was a few more watching then. <laughs> we had a thousand people live watching me fit a racing chair. It was mental. Uh, I did uh, spend like an hour cleaning uh, and packaged it up. Ah, there you go, mate. Awesome. Thanks, Sam. Uh I like your new, oh, Phantom, I can't wait. So I'm going to be stuck with this. The only problem I've got is this wheel rim for drifting is going to be no good either. So I might need to put the Thrustmaster stuff back on for drifting, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I'll, I, I will never sell my TH8A. No, I won't, won't sell it. It was bought as a present from my wife. First ever present I got from it. So it will not be sold. Uh, anyway, I don't need to sell it either. Uh, I would love to see your first drive on those. Uh, yeah, so again, I will probably try and save up and get a hub eventually, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so many people watching unboxing, yeah, uh, really well looked after, got that. Yeah, well, I'll be setting it up today. Uh, next donation target, new rims. <laughs> no, there won't be a don. Oh, I forgot to, uh, hang on, I forgot to take the donation target off. There won't be any more donation goals at the moment. Uh, I think we've uh, <laughs> we've well and truly just gone ridiculous. So the what I'm going to do is we'll just take, we'll take a break a bit. I'll use the one wheel, and if I, if I want to use uh, if I want to use other wheels, I need to just put me me TX wheel back on until uh, until a further time where I can afford to buy a hub. I have got wheels I can use. Uh, yeah, I've got wheels I can use if I buy a hub. Uh, my dad's got the hub, so. Right, so we've got the simple power supply, which is awesome. So that's that, and uh, I think that's a pedal cable, is it? No, no, that's a USB cable. So USB cable and the power. For anyone interested, this is the version one base, as you can see, it's got a nice clear top. They smoked the top on the version two, and I don't know why. And then that is the IO ports on the bottom. So you got you can run two shifters, which is actually technically a shifter and a handbrake, but uh, you've got all them, and then you've got this you've got this bracket here, which puts a tilt on it. You can see how it's tilted, how it's like leaning back. So I'll probably take that off and just bolt it on with the three triangle bolts. So uh, right, those are just, uh, there are so many cables. Yeah, I know there are. Yeah. Just saying uh, that will be amazing for ETS2, yeah. Do a donation, go for the hub. I, I know, I, I just, it's all we've ever done at the moment. The channel's just become very donation orientated. So I'm just, I'm taking a break from the, the donations. If people want to donate, that's fine. If I got enough money to buy a hub, I'd go and buy a hub. But at the moment, I'm just, it's just all about donations. I just want a break from it. Right. 
Can't wait to get it on though. Get up there. <laughs> right. This is what I've always wanted ever since. Right. Tell you a story. Ever since starting uh, sim racing, when obviously I wasn't very well, so I got into sim racing and I saw this rim. I didn't realise Fnatic was different than Thrustmaster and all that rubbish. All I saw was this. And my dad got one. And uh, I wanted it well before he even bought one. And I showed him it and that he saw it and he went and bought one. And then I used his and I've looked at it and I just love it. It's beautiful. So it is Alcantara. You can wash Alcantara. So I don't know how... It does stain really easy Alcantara. So I'll possibly need to give it a wash. So if it looks a little bit shiny, it's not an issue. Alcantara is so easy to clean, uh, so that's one of the reasons Alcantara is good uh, for when uh, my dad used it. There's still labels on it, uh, by the way. No, there isn't. There isn't because I, I knew he told me he labelled it, so I have actually unboxed this and I've taken the labels off it because I didn't think it looked that good with the labels on. So I have actually unboxed it. He, he, my uncle did warn me that uh, it did have cables on it. Uh, sorry, labels on it. So I, I said, right, I'll go and take them off. So I did. All right, uh, sarcasm, Jack. All right. Uh, wear gloves; it will keep it extra clean. I mean, I'm not bothered. I've seen my dad's. You can wash it really, really well. It washes so well. Uh, suede doesn't. Sim racing do a hug for twenty-five quid. What, for a fanatic? Are you sure? Uh, how much would this cost new? About 1500 quid, roughly. Uh, ish. About 1300, 1400, I think. Anyway, there we go. So, another bag. Everything's bagged, everything's nice, which is awesome. We'll put the. Uh, I should have left the wheelbase out of the bag, actually. So, there we go. Get it out of the bag. So, as you can see, it's, it's started to go a little shiny here, which is why it needs a wash. So that, that'll wash and it'll just come up like this, but when I mean, you can see, I don't know how well you can see, but how clean it is, it's, it's unreal. So that's the actual rim there, and then you've got the back of it, which is the quick release. And uh, it, just, it just feels right, you know, it's just, it's just so nice. I've always wanted one. So I'll stick that on the wheelbase so you can see what it looks like. Uh, so that's the wheel bag. And All right. So might be slightly complicated putting this on while uh All right. Should be, is that us on? I think we're on, are we on? Yep, we're on, that's us. It's a little bit stiff because it's just never been used. My dad's is really loose now, but feels so good. There we go, full Fnatic setup. Shifter, pedals, everything. We'll put it all on the desk so you can see it. So there we go, we've got everything, all the equipment. Uh, I'm really, really pleased with it. SR do a Fnatic wheel adapters to fit both GT3 and a GT wheels. Uh, CSR. I don't think they do. You know, I honestly, uh, if you if you can if you can put it, the name of it in. Uh, yeah, it's got 900. But yeah, honestly, you you can't. You need the hub. You need the Fnatic hub with all the electrics in it to make the wheel work. The wheel won't turn on without the hub. So you do need the hub. Uh, I will look and if you can get an adapter for £25, I'll get it. But I'm more than sure it doesn't work. Uh, oh my days. Yeah, so that's it. We've got all the Fnatic equipment. I'm going to show you something just to see what you think. Uh, my uncle was also getting rid of his button box that I built him, which was my first ever button box. And I bought it back off him I haven't, I, actually, I haven't actually technically paid him yet because I don't have any money but I'm going to buy it back off him so uh, 
I know Brian does button boxes, but the problem is I need a lot more buttons than what Brian does at the moment. Uh, so this is my shifter that I built, uh, my button box that I built. So it's got plenty of buttons. So it's got like, that's ignition, that's start, that's your ignition. So it's got like rotaries. Obviously I'll take the labels back off, but it's got loads of different switches on it. You know, it's got plenty, plenty of buttons. I designed it myself. I built it myself. Obviously these brackets don't look that good, but I'm not a 3D printer or anything. But uh, I was proud of it when I built it, and I, I really do like it, so I bought it back. And uh, yeah, I'll probably put that on. Uh, Sim racing hardware product, Fnatic wheel adapter. Oh, right, I'll tell you what then. Uh, while we're having a chilled out uh, unboxing session, I will... Uh, and a button box looks good here. Yeah. Uh, can I get your... No, I won't be getting rid of the old wheel. I haven't got a spare because I lost them all in the flood. Uh, I lost both my spare wheels in the flood, so... Uh, I don't actually have a spare wheel, so if this one breaks, I can't actually... Uh, I can't use my rig until I get it back. Good job, Mark. Mark, uh, I've addressed. Uh, good job, Mark, uh, on the button box. Yeah, it, it was... You know, I was pleased with it. Uh, so sim racing hardware and then we've got uh, shop I'm just going to check for this wheel adapter that someone's telling me about uh, wheel adapters right uh, save money no worries but could save money uh, Alright, what's this? Fnatic F1 to 70mm PCD? No, that doesn't, that's not the one we need. Fnatic wheel adapters, that would do. So what, what, what's that for then? Uh, please no, uh, usually necessary to keep the original Fnatic wheel PCB plugged into the base. Yeah, see what... See, that adapter, you need to, what I would need to do is I would need to take apart this wheel and take the electrics out, plug it in so it thinks the wheel's plugged in, then put the adapter on. I'm not going to do that at all. So what, what I need, what I need to do is and I'll just get the hub eventually and then I can use all my other wheels that are here. Uh, I can use them on the hub. So yeah, we'll get that. Uh, right, we're going to come off here. Uh, what's the difference between the pedals? Uh, well, watch the start of the video. I did show you, but I'll show you again. But I'm not. I'm not going to keep repeating myself if you can't go back and watch the first part of the video. The main difference is they have a different load cell in. The second difference is they have a shock dampener, an oil shock dampener in, and there's no travel in the brake. It's purely just load cell. So I don't know if you can see how well you can see there, but it's just load. You just it's how much load you press on. Uh, and then the, the other main difference is my clutch feels like this. So my clutch is exactly the same as this. This one has a cam on the clutch, as you can see. So when you press the clutch, it's a cam system, so you can find the biting point better. So yeah, it's definitely, definitely an upgrade. My dad's got, my dad had the V2s anyway. Uh, and the V1s, bear in mind, mine are five year old, and they were second hand when we got them, and they were absolutely knackered. So. Nice wheel, play ATS2. Yeah, hopefully, yep. Yeah. I hope I hope I do. Uh, sorry, my fault. No, no bother, mate. Uh, dear Mark. Uh, no, can you spin the wheel around, see how it all looks? Yeah, there you go. Show you that. Hang on. Move my tripod. I have, if you watch the full, if you watch the full unboxing, I have, I've, I have, I've had the wheel up to the camera, so... Just uh, go back and watch the rest of the video. If you've just come on and you've missed some, I have done a full unboxing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's so quiet. It's just unreal. So yeah, really, really pleased. Uh, that knob looks nice. Yeah, you got that one and that one. Obviously we've got the shifter as well. I don't think I'll be using the shifter today as much as I want to. 
my SKRS doesn't fit. So both the SKRSs don't fit. The shaft on here is ridiculously big, so I'll need to do something. Right, I'm going to shoot off now. That's me done. Uh, the Top Gear Simulation machines, have a look at the, uh, the link. Yeah, you see, the problem with that is you still need a circuit board for it. That's the problem. If you plug, if you plug that quick release on, you then need a circuit board to plug in. I don't have any circuit boards. I just want a wheel that works. You know what I mean? So I, 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 I will read up about it. But as far as I know, you need the circuit board plugged in. The wheel, this wheel will not. The base won't turn itself on unless the wheel's plugged in. Unless there's a board there. Right, I'm going to get off. Uh, again, apologies, there'll be no, uh, there'll be no uh, train sim today. Don't know... Yeah, I don't know how much content will be on. The fact is, I'm going to my dad's tomorrow to get collect more stuff that I stored there. And then, uh, so I'm three hours to go and get the stuff, and three hours back, so I won't be on tomorrow. And then, uh, the day after, I'll be back. So, the whole point is today i want to get this set up on the simulator so i'll ne i'll come back in around about half an hour 40 minutes and we'll start setting up the we'll start stripping down the rig live and uh yeah and do that so i don't know there won't be any farm sim today i wouldn't think uh, I, I don't i don't know I, it depends how long it takes to swap them over i'm sorry but i honestly don't know anyway i'm going to shoot off big shout out to you all uh and i'll see you all in the next video there should be a video up about about half an hour an hour it's just going to be a really laid back setting up the fanatic gear not going to be professional or anything like that it's just going to be chilled and laid back so i'll see you all then big shout out to top gear again for the big donation and a big shout out to everybody else who donated towards this equipment i really really appreciate it and uh, i'll see you all in the next video thanks again guys and take care